Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 edition. Page 349. Thrombogenesis. Briefly, describe what is going on in the picture of thrombogenesis from the book. First, there will be some sort of damage to the endothelium which will expose the collagen. To this exposed collagen, von Willebrand factor will bind. Once von Willebrand factor has bound to the exposed collagen, a platelet will come along and bind by its glycoprotein 1B receptor to that von Willebrand factor. The platelet will then release ADP and calcium. This will start the coagulation cascade and ADP then binds to the ADP receptor causing an expression of glycoprotein 2B and 3A at platelet surface. Now once the glycoprotein 2B and 3A receptors are expressed on the surface, a fibrinogen will come and bind to this receptor. And then other platelets can now recognize fibrinogen and attach their glycoprotein 2B and 3A receptors to this fibrinogen as well. And this will eventually result in a lot of platelets activating and this results in formation of the platelet plug. In this picture here, you could also see arachidonic acid which is converted to thromboxane A2 by the enzyme COX which stands for cyclooxygenase and we mentioned that thromboxane A2 is a pro-aggregation factor. You can also see the anti-aggregation factors which are inside the endothelial cells such as thromboplastin, TPA and PGI2. One Willebrand factor is also inside the endothelial cell but it's not an anti-aggregation factor. One additional thing to note here is that inside platelets there is also one Willebrand factor and fibrinogen. What is bernard chollier syndrome? bernard chollier syndrome is the deficiency of glycoprotein 1B and therefore the platelet to one Willebrand factor adhesion will not happen. What is von Willebrand disease? Von Willebrand disease is the deficiency of the von Willebrand factor. So if there's a deficiency of the von Willebrand factor, again the same thing will happen. There would not be the adhesion of glycoprotein 1B to that von Willebrand factor because there is no von Willebrand factor. What is Glanzmann thrombasthenia? Glanzmann thrombasthenia is the deficiency of glycoprotein 2B and 3A receptors. What is abciximab? Abciximab is a monoclonal antibody that inhibits glycoprotein 2B and 3A expression. What is the mechanism of action of clopidogrel or ticlopidine? The mechanism of action of clopidogrel and ticoplidine is to irreversibly block the ADP receptor activation. And so if ADP receptor activation is blocked, the glycoprotein 2B and 3A expression will not occur. What is the function of thrombomodulin? The function of thrombomodulin is to convert protein C into activated protein C. And as we remember from earlier discussions, that activation of protein C will lead to anticoagulation because it cleaves and inactivates factor 5A and 8A. What is the mechanism of action of aspirin? The mechanism of action of aspirin is to inhibit cyclooxygenase enzyme, that's the COX enzyme, and therefore inhibits the synthesis of thromboxane A2. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com.